NECA sweats to the oldies. This is your look at the NECA toys Richard Simmons, the action figure. Are you ready to party off the pounds with the most eccentric fitness coach the world has ever seen? Known for his sweat into the oldies workout videos, Richard Simmons is here to give your action figures a workout by joining the NECA's 8-inch clothed line. Sporting real fabric athletic shorts and a tank top, the famous aerobics instructor stands approximately 8 inches tall and comes with interchangeable heads. Before we go and start counting calories, the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how tall Richard Simmons stands. I'd like to thank as well the folks over at NECA Toys that provided a sample of Richard Simmons that we could have a look at in this review. If you are somebody that's part of the Deal a Meal program and would like to get on board getting a Richard Simmons for yourself, he should be available right now in retail stores and online. The figure stands 8 inches in height. We can switch that to centimeters, revealing that Richard Simmons, the retro cloth release, stands 20 and a half centimeters tall. Boy, it would have been fun if NECA Toys had included Deal a Meal or a Sweat into the Oldies album. But sadly, Richard Simmons only comes included with a swappable head sculpt. We'll have a look at that right now. And actually, you know, before we do that, I want to show you the defaulted head sculpt. Because actually, both of them are quite good. <laughs> I know some people are probably like, Richard Simmons, really? Are we going Richard Simmons? You know, in my household, when I was a kid growing up, my mother had several Richard Simmons, Simmons albums. Albums. That's dating me by quite a bit. But you're getting a close look at what Richard Simmons head sculpt looks like, at least the default variety. Would I say it looks like Richard Simmons? Yes, I would. You can see he's got the quite Afro style hairstyle that even Bob Ross would be envious of. The tight curls going on there, not much really in the way of color. It's just really relying on the chestnut brown that they've put to the surface of the hair. Doesn't look like really they add much in the way of other additional color. It's really just that one color of brown. But of course, I'm sure you guys are wanting to see the face sculpt again. That's a pretty good likeness, I have to say. It's fun the fact that we are getting ourselves a Richard Simmons retro cloth figure. Say what you will. Maybe it's a market where not many people are asking for Richard Simmons, Simmons figures. But I'm pretty happy the fact that we're getting this. This guy goes right up there with, say, the Golden Girls of surprises that we were getting from NECA Toys. And just happy the fact that we get figures like this. Now, obviously, the fact this guy is retro cloth. I can't imagine that we're going to be getting ourselves an ultimate version of Richard Simmons anytime soon, simply just because they're going to have to retool a figure from scratch. But Retro Cloth is certainly the safest bet to go around getting these obscure characters that maybe not everybody is going to get on board getting. Uh, putting them in a Retro Cloth body, because as you can see, he's just got a regular body underneath all that. Simple, because I mean, all they really have to do is retool a brand new head. In some cases, maybe give him brand new hands and then just basically just give him an outfit over top of that. But I did want to show you guys what the alternate head sculpt looked like. I'm not really sure which one I like more. This one's fun because I would imagine that's so much a Richard Simmons thing that he would be doing. But I kind of like this one, this head sculpt as well. Kind of give you guys an idea of them side to side. To change out the head sculpts, all you really have to do is pop the head off just like that. Put that to the side and replace it with the one that you want to go with. Just wiggle that back into place. Sometimes it's a little harder to get the head sculpts on as they are to get off. You can see there's what that head sculpt looks like. And I feel like this is a case where I'd want to be putting his hands up. Like he's shocked. He's surprised somebody that's been losing so much weight. Richard Simmons back in the day, obviously not much as anymore because the gentleman has passed on. But back in the day, he had was had tons of infomercials. And a big the big thing for him was deal a meal or sweat into the oldies. And he always liked to surprise people that had lost so much weight. And this was generally the expression that he gave. Richard Simmons was also a big follower and collector of Barbie dolls. Did you actually know that as well? The only thing I could say as a nitpick to the figure is the fact that he always has these flat hands. Now, obviously, he's very uh, exaggerated, I think is the best way, the best word to describe Richard Simmons. He's a very exaggerated, expressioned character. I probably would have also invested in giving him some regular gripping hands or just regular relaxed hands as well. Because if you don't have the hands up like this, or if you have, I guess, the hands out like this, if you have the hands just down, it sort of looks weird that he's got such flat fingers, everything extending out like this. 
Also, his hands, unfortunately, aren't quite the same color as the rest of his arms. You'll see, like, his body, for example, is a lighter color, because all it really is is just the coloring of the plastic, whereas the head and the hands are different painted pieces. So you can see that the hands don't quite line up the same coloring as the rest of his arms. It's close enough, but it's not quite there. Then, of course, he is wearing his uh, tank top here. I keep continuing to lift up his shirt so you guys can see. At least they use the newer retro cloth bodies. So along with that, Richard Simmons gets a lot of articulation, which we'll talk about in a second. But I do like the tank top that they gave him. They could have also gone the red of blue. I think blue and red were his favorite colors when it came to tank top and shorts. And he always felt the need to match them. And I think they did a pretty good job of matching it here. He does have the striped shorts, as you can see. Nice stitch line along the bottom section of his shorts. And really equally... Good tailoring, for the most part, when it comes to his uh, tank top. The thing you have to be careful of with Richard Simmons is the few couple of times that I've moved the figure around, I find his shorts tend to ride a little low, revealing a little bit of Simmons crack. You may want to just make sure that you bring those shorts up all the time. As we look a little further down on the figure, of course, we've got a pair of running shoes. Of course, if he's going to be exercising with everyone else in these videos, he's going to, of course, want to have some rather comfortable looking sneakers. He does also have himself some socks. Now, the only downside to the socks is you can see that they kept them as separate pieces. It doesn't quite look right when you have them really high up. I don't think anyone is really going to be doing that anytime soon anyways. So really, in a case like this, you want to make sure those socks are really low. One thing they actually could have done as well is painted the bottom ends of the legs like a really soft color white. So even if the socks rode up like this and had a little bit of a gap, they could have still had that concealed enough by having a little bit of white added in there as well. The shoes for the most part are pretty clean and yet there's just a little bit of dirtiness to them. So it looks like they are shoes that at least he's worn. And you can see as well on the undersides of those shoes, Richard Simmons does have peg holes. So if you do want to use a display stand with this figure, you more than certainly can do that, especially if you want to put him in like a, an exercising pose. <laughs> Probably not looking like that. <laughs> what a great looking face. Having a look at the articulation on Richard Simmons, I'm enjoying this review, I think, more than I should be. His head rotates all the way around because essentially it's just a ball joint. It allows the head to move down, it allows the head to move up, and you can also rock it back and forth. He does also have an upper torso ball joint because, of course, they're utilizing that brand new. There I am shifting his shirt up again. He does have the newer articulation on these bodies, these retro cloth bodies. So because of that, his torso does rotate all the way around goes down, up, and rocks back and forth. As for his arms, his arms hinge out at a full 90 degree angle bend. There's nothing limiting it. There's nothing restricting it. You can get a good full bend on his arm. The arm moves forward. The arms move back. You can swivel at the bicep. Just a single, actually a double hinge on the elbow, but I want to show you like the elbows, for example. Even though they are technically a double hinge on the elbow, because the size of his forearm and his bicep, they meet up with one another. You're really only benefiting, I feel, from a single hinge in the elbow. It is there as technically a double hinge, but really by the way it bends, it only feels like I'm only bending it by one hinge, even though technically it looks like both hinges are working here. Uh, of course, then the hands bend back and forth. They rotate all the way around like that. Uh, I've noticed as I've hinged the hands a couple of times, there has been just a little bit of paint that started to flake off. I'm sure the more times I do that, you'll see that that little slotted section of the hinge joint will probably start chipping off even more paint. There's really no way around that just by the way that they painted the hands. Then for these legs, we'll move a little bit further down. Richard Simmons' legs split out. Forward and back on the legs. He has a swivel at the top of the thigh. A single hinge knee. And then he does have the articulation in the foot. Rocks back and forth. So he does have the ankle rocker. And yes, you can hinge his feet back and forth as well. The only downside again is as you are moving those feet about, uh, it does seem to leave a little bit of a gap. And I guess the reasoning why they did leave the gap the way that they did is so that hinge joint wasn't impaired. I think if the sock had been there in its in that area, it would mean that you wouldn't be able to move the foot back and forth. So I guess when you get it to the place that you like, just kind of shimmy, shimmy down those socks, shimmy down those socks, and you should be okay. It's just remarkable the fact that we're actually having a look at a Richard Simmons figure. I mean, for me, I grew up with Richard Simmons simply just because my mother had either the infomercials on of Richard Simmons or she had the albums on Richard Simmons. And I can still remember that one album that she has in her collection. I think it was just a crowd of people looking up and 
Lost still in that crowd was a little afro exercising guru named Richard Simmons. So for me, I grew up with him. And for that reasoning, kind of like the Golden Girls, I'm just thrilled for the fact that NECA Toys actually gave us a retro cloth release of Richard Simmons, a uh, part technically of my childhood, as sad as that may sound. Now, if you ask me, I don't even think NECA Toys should stop with Richard Simmons. Keep going with this trend of giving us these obscure characters for retro cloth releases. Not everybody, I'm sure, is going to get on board a Richard Simmons retro cloth figure. But for the people that would appreciate that, I think run this thing as far as you can take it. Give us even more health gurus. Don't just stop at Richard Simmons. Give us Jack LaLanne, Tony Little, or even the Juice Man. Remember the Juice Man? He was always plugging his juicer. Give us those kind of characters as retro cloth releases. And I can display Richard Simmons here along with my Golden Girls retro cloth figures. Another obscure, why would they have released that? And yet so many collectors love the fact that they did. I hope that NECA Toys continues the trend of giving us these kind of characters as retro cloth figures. Is it going to appeal to everybody? Absolutely not. Not everybody is going to be saying, hey, I need to get that Richard Simmons retro cloth figures. But for the ones that would appreciate that, whether you've been into Richard Simmons yourself, whether you just like exercising, or maybe you grew up with Richard Simmons, whether it be his albums, his infomercials, he was also on the home shopping channel a lot, always plugging his deal a meal. So I have invested interest in Mr. Simmons here. Not everybody is going to be, but I'm really pleased the fact that NECA Toys gave us a retro cloth release of Mr. Richard Simmons. Thank you, NECA Toys. Speaking of thanking NECA Toys, I'd also like to thank NECA Toys for pro providing the sample of Richard Simmons for this review. I'm sure I've had a smile across my face this entire review. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel and you're liking all the content you're seeing, maybe yourself also like Richard Simmons. Okay, maybe I'm the only one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and of course, of course, come back to this channel Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's, of course, when we have a look at new videos. I can't promise everything will be as far out there as Richard Simmons. I'm probably sure I've said Richard Simmons like a thousand times already, but there's definitely going to be a lot more NECA reviews lined up and coming your way. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your peepers peeled to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.